cheek. Please don't give me high. I'm high. Left cheek, right cheek. Write my name in ice. 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 Real ass, real ass, real ass, real ass. Real ass. <laughs> Got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Hey beauties, it's Nikea here with another video. Y'all seem to like my nail video, so here I am making my own press-ons, okay? <laughs> so this is just a set of ballerina or coffin nails. These are actually long. So right now I'm just going through and sizing the nails to see which one fits each finger. You can also measure your nails to see which one fits because there is a millimeter size that corresponds to the number size at the top of the nail. These are for myself so I can just measure them as I go. So I have these stands and this metal tin and the stands are magnetic and on top of them you'll see this lock tight adhesive. So this is what I'm going to adhere the nails to so that I can actually polish them and design them. So I'm going through and pressing firmly so that the nail will stick to the stand the entire time. And these are full press-ons. These are not just tips. And everything that I learned how to do, I learned from Nails by Nay. Y'all need to hit her up on Instagram. She has her own website. She's based out of Charlotte and she is legit with the nails. She did my wedding press-on. She did an online press-on webinar. So this has inspired me to do my own. <laughs> and as you can see, all my nails are on the stands with the magnet. And then there's also this diamond holder that you can use and that will hold the nail for you while you polish it or design it or do whatever you're going to do with the nail so you don't have to worry about getting any polish on your hands or you can just hold on to the stand whatever works for you all right so i have this beetles base coat i got this off of amazon and i'll be sure to link everything that i use below in the description box so this is the first thing that I'm going to put on. And one thing I will advise for this brand of gel polish in this system is to use a very light hand and make sure that you cure it for 90 seconds minimum. And sometimes you may need to go to 180 seconds. So I'm just applying that to the nail. And I like to do one pair of nails at a time because I do have this small UV lamp and because I saw that when I was trying to do too much at a time you know I would get confused I would forget something I would mess up something or whatever so if I had a larger lamp then I'd be able to keep pairs together but since this one is smaller I can only do about two to four nails at a time but as those nails are curing and that base coat is drying, I can already apply the base coat to the next set of nails. So I try not to waste any time and just work in tandem. And this metal lid definitely comes in handy, but I will definitely need a bigger UV LED lamp. Now that I have the base coat on this first pair of nails, I'm going to go ahead and polish the nails. I have a set of polishes, there were six colors um, I will link this in the description box. Don't remember the name of this set, but it was in the blue green family. So I'm going to use several of these colors today. As you can see, this is number 256. They have a shade sample on the top. So this is more of a translucent blue, and I am going to show you all what this looks like with multiple coats. And again, make sure you paint the entire nail and make sure you use a nice thin layer because you're going to apply multiple coats. And what I've just learned from practicing with this polish is you don't need to apply thick heavy coats. Because I haven't worked with gel polish before, I'm just used to regular nail polish. But gel polish, you need thin layers and you're just going to apply multiple coats to get the color payoff that you want. And again, make sure that you're curing this polish for the recommended amount of time. For me, I did two sessions of 90 seconds just to make sure that the coats were evenly cured because I'll show you what happens later in the video when you don't cure each coat properly. So you have to cure the base coat, you have to cure each layer of the color that you apply, and you have to make sure that you cure the top coat for the recommended amount of time. And here I'm just showing you all the different colors that I have and that I decided to use. And at the end, you'll see the other colors in the set. And this is the difference between two coats and one coat in that first color. And then here's the top it off top coat. Like I mentioned before, once those layers have cured, go ahead and apply your top coat a nice thin layer. We don't want to have any issues with the polish once 
it's cured. And here are my nails cured with the base coat, color coat, and the top coat. And here's the final look of that first color. And this is what happens when you don't properly cure your gel polish. You see how it's like puckering and it's like folding up. One of the coats was not cured completely, but I'm gonna remedy that. And now I'm just kind of laying out a template for how I want to place some crystals or jewels on my nails. Again, I will link this in the description box below where I got them from, but I just like to kind of plan it out on a paper towel first before I actually commit to putting it on a nail because I'm not there yet where I can just put glue on the nail and be like, oh, this is where I'm gonna put a jewel. <laughs> so I just kind of like to plan it out on my table first and then I'll go on to placing it on the nail and then I can kind of freestyle from there. And I'm just using the tweezers that came with the jewel set. So I have some really small round ones that range in size and then I have a set of 12 larger stones. And I'm using Gorilla Glue but what I've seen Nails by Nay use is Loctite glue and it actually has the squeeze handles on the side and a more controlled nozzle, which is way better. I was able to make this glue work because it doesn't dry super, super fast and it does give you some time to kind of maneuver the jewels around, but it would definitely be easier if I had the pointed nozzle. And here's one method that I use by just putting the glue on the stone and I'll show you another method where I put the glue on the nail and then I can actually place the gems that way and as you can see I'm able to adjust and move it around because the glue is still kind of loose and this is a little wax stick or just like a regular color pencil to me that came with the really small jewels because they're hard to pick up with tweezers or your hands but that helps you to pick them up or place them I'm actually gonna buy a jewel or nail jewel placer or picker upper whatever it's actually called <laughs> so that I can um, better pick up my smaller stones to place on my nails and here as you can see I decided to put some glue on the nail once I got some of my stones in the place where I wanted them to be and then I could just pick up stones and place them in the glue and kind of maneuver them around that way because like I said, this type of glue is kind of like a gel consistency. So it does allow you a little flexibility when placing stones onto the nails. And as you can see, once I got to the smaller stones, I switched to the little wax color pencil stick to be able to pick those up because these range in size to like itsy bitsy teeny weeny to about the size of maybe a push pin head that's as large as they go. But that's my finished design there. And this is me just freestyling designs. All right, now to kind of cover up the puckering on those nails, I'm gonna use some stones on this one. So I'm using the same tools and I'm just placing the glue on this lid to kind of dip the stone into the glue and then place it on the nail because that was just easier for me since I don't have the proper tool to pick them up like I want to. But I just used the diamonds to kind of hide the puckering on the edge of the nail. Like if I was making these for somebody else, I would definitely just repolish it, but it was for me and this was a good fix. And then I'm gonna use some holographic powder on this nail. So with this powder, you can go as heavy or as light as you want. So what I did here is I actually covered up the polish and it's actually okay because it has like that holographic green reflex in it. And so it does come with some applicator sponges, but I like using my finger better to get a more even application. And then on the tips of those pinky nails, I'm just using a light touch to get kind of an ombre effect. And once I apply that holographic coat, I'm gonna apply my top coat, which essentially encapsulates the holographic powder inside of the nail. And again, links will be below in the description box. And this is me going back again to apply another layer of the holographic powder on the tip. So I didn't want it to be as heavy on this nail, but I kind of wanted it to have a little bit of the holographic flex towards the bottom for the nail to kind of sparkle and then be heavier on the top. And again, applying that top coat and curing for 90 to 180 seconds in my UV LED lamp. And these are my nails all done. And the last thing to do is to take a nail file and to shape the nail and to file off the tip because on the tip of the nail there's like this little piece I guess where they broke them off the original plastic but yeah just defining the shape of the nail and to file off that tip on the top part of the nail okay girl this is my set all done what do y'all think how did I do I love these these are most likely gonna be my birthday nails um, I'm excited I recorded this video previously but I had some 
rough time with the first set that I did so I had some time to actually practice so this is a set right here this green and blue set I practice on so don't be surprised if in my birthday party vlog you see a mix of these two sets because I snapped sis sis popped off with these but that's it for today's video beauties thank you so much for watching but before you go make sure you go down below click that subscribe button and right next to that click that bell notification button so you never miss when i post like i always say it's free it's easy and it's fun i'll see you in the next one bye no comparison <laughs>